Coronary arteries provide oxygen-rich blood to the entire cardiac muscle. Humans have a right coronary artery, or RCA, and a short left main coronary artery originating both from the root of the aorta. The left main coronary gives off the left anterior descending artery and the circumflex artery. Together with the RCA, the LAD and the circumflex form the three main coronary arteries. The right coronary artery descends down the AV groove of the right ventricle, giving off proximally sinus node and AV nodal arteries, as well as right marginal arteries and later bifurcating into a posterior descending artery or PDA and a posterior lateral artery. The PDA arises from the RCA in about 70% of people. When this occurs, the circulation is called right dominant. In about 10% of the population, the PDA arises from the left circumflex and is deemed left dominant, and in the remaining 20%, it may be co-dominant. What's important to remember here is that it is the PDA that determines the dominance of the coronary circulation. The RCA supplies the right atrium, most of the right ventricle, the inferior wall of the left ventricle, as well as the inferior portion of the interventricular septum. It also supplies the sinus node artery in about 60% of people and the AV node artery in most people. The left anterior descending, or LAD, stays true to its name and goes down anteriorly towards the apex of the left ventricle, giving off septal perforators on one side and diagonal branches on the other. The LAD vascularizes the anterior wall and the apex of the left ventricle, as well as the anterior two-thirds of the interventricular septum. Finally, the circumflex descends down the AV groove of the left ventricle, giving off obtuse marginal arteries. The circumflex system vascularizes the lateral wall and the posterior wall of the left ventricle. It is important to remember that the coronary anatomy may be variable and anatomical variations do exist. For example, some people have very prominent wraparound LADs which also vascularize the inferior walls. Nonetheless, the anatomy described beforehand in this video is consistent with the most commonly encountered coronary anatomy.